<laughs> Once I start playing, these twinkles come run in here. Hello, friends and folks. I'm Shari, and thank you for tuning in again for a happy Sunday at the Creative Middle Lesson. Well, we're not here today to learn how to use the harmonica, but can you recognize the tune and why I'm playing it? It's now seven weeks of vlogging for me, and I would like to thank my subscribers, all of you out there who are watching right now and who are subscribing, remember that red button below, please subscribe for sticking around. I am so grateful for your listening ears. So for this Christmas, I decided to exclude the color red in my Christmas decors. I just started today with the decoration. So you can see I've put up my Christmas tree already but there there's no color of red there after all this is not the usual christmas so these are the christmas stockings that i got from the loft they're all red and of course we don't want red do we now don't get me wrong i'm a very practical homemaker i'm a big fan of recycling and upcycling i don't want to waste for you to easily follow what i'm doing you need a pattern paper. This is how it looks like. But if you don't have a pattern paper, any paper will do. I'll show you how to do it. And then our fabric, find any fabric. And I found this. Well, I actually bought this from the range a few a few weeks ago before the lockdown. And um, this is supposed to be for my cats. It's a glow in the dark throw. But because we can't go out, then this would do it, won't it? Now, I like the size of the old one, but I quite don't like the shape of it. So we'll just take the measurement of this old Christmas stocking. We'll get the measurement on the width. That is seven and a half inches in the length, which is... 16 inches now we will put that on our pattern paper all right so let's start it's seven and a half on the width isn't it so that's seven and a half mark it and then 16 or the length mark it So from that, Edmund, get off. So we will mark now the seven and a half with like that. And then now you can see there are marks here so that you are sure that you won't go wonky. So I use the one, but because it's a sock, so Christmas stocking, you go a little bit wonky, won't you? There. Okay, let's go. That's more like it, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's put that on the fabric. So you folded that throw, okay? Then we will put this pattern paper on top of it. If you can notice, there's a little bit of a few centimeter here for the seam and for you to sew on, just allow it. So for a single throw, we're able to do one, two, three, four, five Christmas stockings. So I spent a few minutes rummaging through my drawer to, for embellishments. And I found this, see that one is a ribbon from a gift. Right, so what do we need? We need those grayish 
or silvery cotton and we are ready so I will zigzag on the upper part that one the edge of the stocking so it won't fray because as you can see it's going everywhere because it's fraying Right, now to sew the sides, I would need a bias tape. Unfortunately, I've got no more bias tapes in my drawer, but I found this two inch bias tape, but it's only three meters and its color is bronze. So I could use this, but I don't know if I have enough. So let's just start sewing and see how it goes. So before we start sewing, we need to pin them so they won't move when you sew them, okay? And the embellishment, you put it on top of the supposedly Christmas sock. Yeah, and then cut it as well there. So, and you need two of that because it's front and back, isn't it? So I've pinned the embellishment as well, front and the other side. Now, this fabric is a little slippery. So if you'll put straight the bias tape on it, you might have a problem. So what we'll do is we'll have, we'll give it a simple stitch on the sides, except the top part, all right? Look at the back as well. Just be sure that they're all aligned. You don't want um, them to be misaligned, do you? Basically, you've got it there. Now you just need to finish off the embellishments and you can now do your um, bias tape on the side. Now, that's it. That's the top of the sock. We're going to sew the bias tape on the side now. So we'll fold it a little bit so it won't fray as well. We've done now the so we fold we fold it on the other side the bias tape now for you to easily sew it just pin them first So once you've pinned them like that, you can just easily sew it. Okay, let me do it. Let me finish pinning. So that's now ready to be sewn. All pinned on the right places and I've also put the tie there. Okay, let me sew it. Right, there you go. Um, 
I still think because it's a Christmas decor, it should be a little OTT. So I think I still need to add a little bit. Okay, let me do it. So I'm going to hand stitch using a silver thread. I'm going to hand stitch this on the sock. Just be sure that there's a cardboard inside so you won't sew them together. All right. Another way of doing this is putting them, uh, your embellishment under on the wrong side of the fabric. Okay, I'll show you. So that's on the back, uh, wrong side of the fabric. And then <clears throat> you do it like that. So that it gives a really good finish on the top of the sock or the Christmas sock so look so from the back you fold it to the front and therefore it's really got a very clean finish here right okay I'll show you the finished part of it all right this is another one but we did not use the bias state on this instead remember the one I said a while ago, a gift, uh, I mean, a ribbon from a gift. So, as I don't have bias tapes anymore, I just use the ribbon instead. So you can just embellish it any way you want it, like what I did there, like those uh, fabric roses, and then lace and the letter M, and then those, um, buntings of seashells and then lace and a letter C and this one is funny because I got this from a gift I got um I had about two years ago which is a Dior ribbon so what do you think well for me I like them because I don't have to spend anything and I hope you will also not spend anything this Christmas season except for food and probably for gifts. Well, this belongs to the stairs and I will finalize it with lights later. Now, as the book of Ecclesiastes said, whatsoever the hand findeth to do, do it with all your might. And I hope that this vlog will help you a bit in finding some little things to do for your Christmas decors. Next week, we'll be doing some homemade Christmas wrappers. So it's a day. I'll see you then. Bye.